Hey everybody, what's going on? Jason Attack is here, and we are finally here for another reaction video for Fruits Basket Season 2, Episode 6. 16 ask him for me okay so before we get started i just wanted to say i know i've been getting a lot of comments on my fruits basket videos saying why don't i react to the subbed it's just a preference thing i just want to react to the dubbed i have nothing against the subbed i've seen a little bit of it and it's actually very beautiful but i'm just i love the english voice cast i just love them in the original uh Fruits Basket anime and I really want to see them here in this uh, the reboot and it's just a big preference for me guys I'm really sorry if you guys wanted to see me react to the sub I am going to be loyal to the dub when reacting to these videos okay so getting that out of the way we're not going to waste any time let's get started Oh, <laughs> 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 How wrong you are. Persistent. The violin. It's Momichi. Oh, 
She's so cute. They call <laughs> to go unnoticed. It's only the mother. She's very talkative. I know it's supposed to be, but it sounds so selfish. There was a weird animation there. <laughs>
Was that an America? Selfish and reckless. That sounds like her mother. Yeah, close. <laughs> Is that Kara's mom? You could have just. Right from her. Jeez. Ugh. You're not gonna see her face?
It's not a good idea. No. You are too good friend. Take me to jail. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> you can still appreciate it. Hmm. I love their roof moments. <laughs> no. By this point, she hasn't realized it yet.
Cheers. It feels really good to be watching Fruits Basket, like watching the new episodes. It's really, <laughs> this show just gives you so much emotions that you just, uh, it takes a while for it to all comprehend and to me at least. <laughs> so for this episode, we mostly saw uh, Toru finally get a real interaction with Karino and of course with Momiji and his sister. So that's what we mostly focused on with this episode and it was really cool. I'm, uh, Karino is like a very mysterious character. So I'm really glad we finally got to see him like this uh, anime adapted version of him because he never came out in the uh, original Fruits Basket anime so this was a real different change and so I really think that it was really well played and his voice actor did a wonderful job it really it really suits the character <laughs> though I have to say I don't care for the romance between Karino and um, Uotani it's like I like Karino as a character I don't like Uatani that much but and I don't really care for their romance but they do make a cute couple I guess but I'm really interested in Momiji and uh, Momo's relationship they are so adorable and I've said this before in my past Fruits Basket videos I honestly do believe that the real real villains in the show are the adults outside of the Zodiac characters it's just they're the ones who really messed well not i don't want to say mess with their minds but they've really made an impression on the kids uh, growing up and they've had to listen to that so it's just terrible and i feel so bad for momiji i mean his he's given up so much and he was a child and his dad is i feel like he's being very selfish about this i mean you kind of want to dote on your kids like in most impressions you want to dote on your kids you want to uh, make them uh, spoil them and yet I feel like his father is trying to spoil himself it's just I feel so bad for Momiji I really wish it was different and we never get to see how it changes as they get older though if you guys have watched Fruits Basket Another which is the sequel to Fruits Basket which deals with the next generation of kids we do see that there's some been some development but we don't see how the development came in so I really wish they would show us that but I guess they're not going to show it to us anytime soon, or we just have to come up with the ideas ourselves, make fan fictions. <laughs> but I think the relationship between um, Momo and Momiji is really cute. I don't know where the author gets these ideas from. I don't think I thought like that as a kid, like so in depth. <laughs> but it was a really wonderful show. It really m makes you think more uh, about situations, and I think it's a real feel good anime it's just something to really help with and though we didn't really get to see any of the other characters we did see uh we did get a little Toru and Kyo moment and oh they're one of my favorite couples and by this point we already know that Kyo has expressed his, his feelings for Toru to himself he's already admitted that he is in love with Toru but at this point Toru is not aware of her own feelings so but it seems that she's um, she's not aware herself, but I think she's unconsciously aware of it. So I can't wait to see their relationship develop further as we get more into the anime. It's been so hard for me not to watch any of the subbed episodes that have been coming out because I want to remain loyal to the dubbed. So I'm sorry if you guys want me to see what's happening in the sub, but I wish to remain loyal. Please forgive me about that. I don't have much else to say about this episode. The next episode is called You Will, I'm Sure, and I cannot wait to see when that episode comes out. Hopefully next week if we're going by the regular ske regularly scheduled um, as it is. So I will see you guys with another Fruits Basket video hopefully soon, okay? Bye!